Muscles can obtain energy for physical activity from at least four sources of energy nutrients. These are muscle glycogen, muscle triglycerides, plasma-free fatty acids, and blood glucose. At the start of an exercise regime, muscle glycogen provides nearly half of the required energy. Muscle triglycerides and plasma-free fatty acids provide about a quarter each. And only a small amount is contributed by blood glucose. One hour into the activity, the proportion of energy nutrients utilized has changed. Muscle glycogen is down, as are muscle triglycerides. Now blood glucose and plasma-free fatty acids are providing more of the energy needed. By hour two, the trends are magnified. Muscle glycogen and triglycerides are being consumed faster than they can be replaced. Blood glucose and plasma-free fatty acids provide more and more of the energy needed. At hour three, muscle glycogen and triglycerides are even lower. More than 70% of the muscle's energy needs are now being met by blood glucose and plasma-free fatty acids. After four hours, muscle glycogen is fully depleted. Muscle triglycerides contribute less than 10% and blood glucose and plasma-free fatty acids contribute more than 90% of the required energy. The duration of physical activity determines the source of the energy that fuels the activity. Short-duration exercises are fueled by muscle glycogen and triglycerides, and some plasma-free fatty acids. The muscle glycogen and triglycerides can be replaced easily when the activity is finished. As exercise duration increases, muscles depend more on blood glucose and plasma-free fatty acids for energy. Plasma-free fatty acids arise from the hydrolysis of stored fat. For this reason, most successful weight loss programs include an exercise component.